Hello everyone, this is Daniel Glenn. Today a colleague of mine asked an interesting question about OneNote. She was using OneNote on her desktop, what is OneNote 2016 actually, and when she was using OneNote in the browser, it looked different. And she wanted to know how to make them look the same. So instead of just kind of talking to it, I'll show you what she was talking about and what are the solutions. All right, so here we have OneNote 2016, and at, you should be familiar with this if you use OneNote at all. You have your notebook that is open. Uh, the name is right here, Test Notebook. Each section is at the top. Some call those tabs. And then we have the pages listed over on the right-hand side, and you select which page you want. And then when you do, it changes, you know, you see that page. Um, but if you go and open up OneNote in the browser from your Microsoft 365 uh, instance, then what you'll notice is when you have the notebook open, the sections are actually on the left side. And then when you select a section, you see the pages also on the left side. Now you can, um, tell that these are different. The You have the two uh, environments, and so when you're switching back and forth, you do have to think, okay, well, the, the tabs or sections are on the top when you're in 2016, but if you are in the browser, they're over on the left-hand side, and you just kind of have to switch back and forth. So it can be kind of annoying. So wh what is the solution here? How can I make these look the same? You can't really. I, the, <laughs> Not exactly, but let me show you how you can do a little bit of tweaking on OneNote 2016 to get it close, okay? So, uh, let's switch over to OneNote. And first off, we have the pages over on the right-hand side. So, how do we take care of that? Well, we can go to File and go to Options. And then in display, there is an item that says page tabs appear on the left. It's unchecked for me here, so I'm going to check that box and click OK. Now it's moved my pages over to the left-hand side. Wonderful. This is you know similar to what's in the browser. But uh, I don't see the, if you look at the browser version, then uh, when I open up a notebook, they're all li listed on the left hand side. And so I, I want that same thing, same experience to happen in OneNote 2016. So to do that, I just drop down the notebook selector and select pin. And now I've pinned my notebooks over on the left hand side. So I kind of get that experience. I know which one I'm selecting. Um, I can see all of the uh, pages, but my the tabs, the sections are still at the top. There's nothing we can do about that in OneNote 2016 right now. Okay, so um, I I can get there. It's similar to where the pages are on the left hand side. The I can pin in OneNote 2016 the sections, but it's not as it's not exactly what I see in the browser. So is that all? No. That is, that is not the only solution. The other solution is you can utilize what's called OneNote for Windows 10. Now, this is a Microsoft, uh, Microsoft Store app. So you can go to search in the store for OneNote. And OneNote for Windows 10. You click to install that. Installs pretty quickly. We can launch. We have to of course, log in, uh, but it recognizes me as logged into my machine using the account uh, that is on my machine, but you can log in with other accounts. So once you have OneNote for Windows 10 open, you'll notice the same kind of layout that you have in the browser. You have your notebook selection, of course, but then you have your sections on the left-hand side and then the pages within those sections showing up. So if you take a look at the browser, we have our sections and our pages, and so it's the same thing in OneNote for Windows 10.
if one for Windows 10 has all the features you want and you do switch between browser and desktop applications and you want them to be similarly laid out have the layout the same then it's really the way to go I hope this video was helpful in helping you get the layout the same for your Windows app and your browser app for OneNote. I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel down below so you can get updates on other videos as they come out. Thank you for watching.